This is the seed of evil from Switzerland in the Alps, who calls himself the Viking, or El Vikingo in Spanish. You don't have to look twice to understand what I mean. Just look at this expressionless face, which we also saw with the, uh, those BLM terrorists at the Bundy Ranch in Nevada, those authorities, and the SS, the SS guards of the concentration camps. This is so typical Swiss, those empty, expressionless faces, as if no real human soul was in there. You see, they're all over in Switzerland and their fifth column of octagon sleeper agents. Especially in 2005, the crimes of the Swiss beast or El, El Assassino Suizo accumulated in him performing several assassinations himself, backed up by the motherland in the Alps and the Octagon organization, just as the Hoovers, Custers and Eisenhowers, as I explained in my previous films. His direct boss, the interior minister, Carlos Filman, fled to Spain, as there was a people's uprising against the Swiss octagon fifth column serial killers of the local police authorities. And Spirison flew to the motherland Switzerland, where he got total protection until 2012, when the international pressure got too high. And now he's standing trial in Geneva in a Swiss show trial farce lasting for the next three weeks. And where the Swissies will whitewash their sleeper agent, as if it were some tax evasion or drugs money process going, doing the famous Snow White Swiss money laundering thing. Yes, of course he'll go free in the end, just as his serial killer pal who fled to Spain as in the famous Nazi red line, but now in the reverse gear. Fielmann is also a German name, just as there are a couple of thousand Spirisen in Switzerland, the motherland. Our man here is from Zoloton region, from Octogon, Switzerland. These are the descendants of Nazi war criminals who made it on Swiss Red Cross passports to South America through the Nazi Red Line after the Second World War and through Operation Paperclip set up by the Swiss man in the field called Eisenhower, who also initiated the Cold War against the Communists and Russia on the orders of Octogon, the motherland. So this is Sperison, the Swiss guy, you see the gun here? And this is Fielmann. Uh, it has often been questioned what happened to the descendants of those who went on the Nazi red line to South America. Well, here they are. And we can witness the very same thing going on today, setting up Russia against the EU and US, where neither Europeans, Russians or Americans want this. But the Swiss Nazi Templar banks ordered this solution as there's too much international pressure on them. I'm quite sure this is the octagon symbol behind of octagon. Okay. The family of this Swiss assassin police chief of Guatemala is a billionaire oligarch by the name of Eduardo Ernesto Spirisen. And so is his entire family. And don't have yourselves fooled by the Spanish first names as these are still recent sleeper agents not yet encrusted in society for hundreds of years as those Nazis in Germany of Swiss origin who murdered one million non-Jewish Germans in the concentration camps and 13 million civilians all over Europe. Well, that's what I thought. This is Octogon from Switzerland when I saw the uh the, uh, the, the symbol on the uh, Policia Nacional uh, behind Mr. Sperison just before. Wow. What do you know, eh? Well, there it is again. Octogon. Well, this has been in the hand for the, of the Swissies and the, the Nazi Templars for much longer. 
maybe somebody can find out when they um, made this logo. That's an imp important date. Probably just after 1945 when they all came with the on the red line. Hey. So considering what the ancestors of the uh, the second and third generation now in South America of Octagon and the Nazis, uh, what tactics the uh, the ancestors did during the war and in Germany and against the German people, they were like this. The first wave consisted of the German Wehrmacht, the army, and Luftwaffe, the air force, tanks, cannons, infantry, and airplanes. And then came the second wave of Swiss origin Einsatzgruppen, a Swiss Karl Jäger of the Jäger Report, savagely butchering men, women and children. Well anyway, Spirison has a Swiss passport, Swiss nationality he always had, and they protect him in the motherland. You know, most Germans had no idea what was really going on in the concentration camps because nobody came back from there and the Nazis would kill them immediately if they would investigate or come closer to the camp. The Germans themselves were prisoner in the, prisoners in this Nazi dictatorship set up by the treacherous Swiss Octogon fifth column inside Germany of Swiss descent sleeper agents just as we can see now through these actual events in Guatemala where an estimated 100,000 Nazis went to South America after the war and Octagon always goes immediately after the key positions police chief, interior minister, etc. Now let's analyze this sick similarity here you can see the smiling Nazis, Nazi guards of a concentration camp after they killed 10,000 people a day and children processed as in a machine they got upset about some strawberries they couldn't get and this is so typically Swiss they actually get very much upset about whether writing the name of the city Sankt Gallen with or without a space behind the hyphen while widely spreading racism, hatred and terror on immigrants, so typically Swiss. They're getting upset about nothing, just like the concentration camp uh, smiling girls and guards there uh, getting upset about not having their strawberries. This is Swiss, this is not German, this is Octogon. And look in the St. Gallen uh, logo. Well, this is the Fasches, as in fascism which we can see the Nazi use it, it's in the, uh, in the American uh, Senate, it's everywhere. Getting upset about nothing. You know, they've got nothing to worry about, you know. they have absolutely nothing to worry about and they don't give a damn about human rights, you know. Terrorizing innocent people like me and my family and getting upset about a space or not after the hyphen in a, in a, in a city name. This is like the guys and the girls you just saw smiling, you know, so innocent and neutral, you know. This is Switzerland. This is Swissies. Yeah, and just look how all, all, the, all these letters they're sending me, you know. Look at it. I don't even open them up anymore. Look, they're still closed. I don't open them up. You know, it ruins my day. Yeah, this is uh, Justice Department, Justice Department. Finance department, they even want money, you know, it's a crime to have no money in Switzerland. Only these two, my wife opened them up, only these ones. Some lawyer who doesn't, a Swiss lawyer who doesn't do anything. Finance department, um, I have to collect the letters. Well, I mean, it just ruins my day and there's nothing I can do anyway. They don't keep their own laws, they don't keep any international laws. So why should I recognize this Swiss Nazi Justice Department anyway, who's protecting criminals from Swiss Octagon police chiefs of Guatemala, serial killers, rapists, Swiss banks, child molesters, they all protect them. 
And me, because I open up my mouth, you know, I'm getting terrorized without end, you know. This is plain terror. Plain, plain terror. You know, well, I don't recognize this country anymore because they don't keep their international agreements, which they signed. I don't recognize them anymore, you know. Bunch of criminals they are. Plain criminals. I don't, you see, I don't open it up anymore. I don't. What's the use? I don't. You see, Swissies? I just pile them up. This is only a few months. Why should I open it up? You know, it's going on for 17 years. 17 long years. Maybe 18 now. And they don't stop. It goes on and it goes on. It doesn't change. I mean, I, I can't take this series anymore, can I? Come on. Now look at all the unopened letters I'm collecting. They're miserable Swiss lies and plain terror on innocent people. And simultaneously, Swissies protect their fifth column serial killers as El Bikingo Erwin Sperisen. It's all upside down, where Octagon, the seed of evil, is rooted. The Nazi red line created small but growing rats' nests all over South America called Pequeña Suiza or Colonia Suiza, slowly but certainly installing their octagon's laws and imposing Swiss superior superiority religion upon the locals, as it has surfaced from the abyss today in this Swiss-made horror in Guatemala, which the Swissies will try and whitewash during the next three weeks Showtime. So keep your eyes on it real carefully because this is a unique event concerning Octagon's involvement sticking out its nasty head. Look, they even have a Pequeña in Little Switzerland, Pequeña Suiza in Luxembourg. It's a small country in, uh, uh, in Europe. I think it's even on the Rhine and the Rhine goes to Switzerland. Look, it even has Swiss flags, Swiss houses, and snowy mountain tops, and it is in Spanish because they're used to it. They're used to this thing there in, in South America. And they say, "Hey, look, there's even a Pequeña Swiss Suiza in Luxembourg. We're not the only ones who have them." This thing is big and has all of Octagon's ingredients through their typical characteristics, all combining as big Swiss money involved. Spiris and father is Guatemala's ambassador representative of the Geneva-based World Trade Organization, which you can see here. All these fake so-called For Humanity Geneva NGOs, Swiss oligarchs, fifth column, Nazi, red line, etc. This, this thing is huge, goes deep and has almost no media coverage. Here you can see the uh, a part of the uh, the uh, the WTO World Trade Organization Geneva. Well, the building is huge. I know it personally, and at the entrance and all around, it's full of pharaonic symbols. There's a sun hieroglyph. It's on the. Um, I, th I think this is the entrance here. It's it's everywhere. Yeah, look, cook, cooking cooking up crisis. A W two A. T o and this is all this is all involved you know in this in this Swiss serial killer you know ki murdering people in Guatemala uh, his father is the ambassador of this thing here you see, th this is big this is real big going on here oh this is the real Switzerland and it's sticking out its ugly head. So far, the Swissies have been stalling time, as usual, and deliberately have had years gone by since the actual crimes and, and prognostics are bad. Since two others from that Swiss fifth column murder gang in Guatemala have been acquitted, not guilty, in court in Austria and Spain. Two countries like Switzerland itself with a huge Nazi past. At the time of the Swiss Esquadrones de la Muerte in Guatemala, Oscar Berger, another Swiss-German name referring to the Alps, 
as Bag means mountain, was Guatemala's president from 2004 to 2008. Berger went to a Jesuit school. Berger, Sperison, Vilman, not very Hispanic sounding names, eh? It says Berger's ancestry is from Belgium. But there are no bags or mountains in Belgium. But there are, if you follow the Rhine, that comes out of the Swiss Alps and flows into Belgium, being the highway of the Middle Ages. And his ancestors are Mennonites who fled Switzerland where their Anabaptist community were heavily persecuted. The name Berger is also a part of the name Bilderberger or Bilderberger. And there are no mountains either in the place this comes from. So here you can see the, uh, the president who was the president when the, uh, the Esquadrones de la Muerte took place and all the, the assassinations. And he looks very, very Swiss. I know Swiss who look like this. And this is El Bikingo, the Swiss serial killer of the Nazi rat line. Well, both of them, I suppose, eh? Swissies are real opportunists and wait their time. First, they form a fifth column, make big money like Spirison's family with the coffee business, then want more power taking over key positions as Sam Spirison being nominated chief of police of the entire country by the Swiss oligarchy, fifth column and finally install fear and terror to defend Papa's big business. Same thing happened in the US with Eisenhower, the Hoovers and the Custers and this trial NGO in Geneva is a farce who in the end defend all that's Swiss and I know them personally and went there several times. This trial NGO, like the Red Cross in the UN, is just part of the New World Order game. They give people hope, false promises, sweet talk, stall time, and in the end always defend Octagon of the Alps. As these NGOs were installed by Octagon in the first place. The best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. The truth is that Switzerland is a killer nation that export wars, tyranny and the new world order. And when young unarmed people from poor countries like Moldavia come and get back what's theirs in the first place, then the Swiss police kills them as the general order has been given out under impunity by Swiss laws. This young Molda Moldavian, the poorest country of Europe, stopped when summoned, hands in the air, unarmed, posing no threat to the Swiss cop, strapped to his safety belts in the car, and the Swiss cop opened the door and just shot him in the face. Then Swissy stole time, a couple of years to have grass grown over it and as always the Swiss premeditated murder cop got acquitted not guilty in a court during some Swiss show trial and you read the whole even the state's attorney they, they just pretend as is as if the state's attorney lost the case well this is what they agreed upon in the first place anyway you know just as El Esquadron de la Muerte, Erwin Sperison from Switzerland, will be acquitted, not guilty, because Switzerland will always go free. Just as their Swiss sleeper agent Dwight D. Eisenhower let Switzerland go with the Nazi gold after World War II, because Switzerland is so clean, neutral and innocent, they never did anything wrong. So you can read some more of the related articles, just punch pause, I'll put it all in the links below the film. There's not much in the media about it, eh? Or, let's say, nothing at all. 
Well, I put the other articles, I put them in the link so it's easier to read them, I think. It says he has dual Swiss Guatemalan citizenship. The head of Guatemala's former police. So, this is the last one and the rest you can read in the, uh, in the links. Well, oh, this is funny. Swiss step up hunt for war criminals. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. They gave the Red Cross cross passport to all the the Nazi war criminals. This guy is from Switzerland, etc., etc. So nobody will think it's them. You understand? You know, the best way to control the opposition is to control it ourselves. And that's what they do. The Red Cross is nothing else than a, a spy organization. And all the other NG NGOs is trial. That's T R I A L. Oh, I know them personally. They're a bunch of Swiss crooks. <laughs>